Hi, uh, my name is Melissa Pierce and I am going to be your professor for um, your adventure education class at Roberts. So it's very nice to meet all of you. I just wanted to apologize that I can't be there day one. Um, months ago I had scheduled all these doctor's appointments for me and my children and I just could not get rid of them and schedule a new day. So figured this is what we'll do. You can watch this. I'm going to go over the syllabus um, and then I have a little assignment for you to do. That way I know that you watch this and that you are clear with all of the um, expectations of the course. And then um, the following week, next week, the 15th, we will begin class um, together face to face. So um, on Moodle, I had put everything up that you need for this class. So you can go on and get the syllabus right there. I did print them off, so I will have that for you on the 15th so you can have a hard copy so you do not feel like you have to go and print it out for yourself. Um, so the syllabus, I'm just going to go over it. If you want to bring it up on your computer, you can follow along. If not, no worries. But um, like I said, my name is Melissa Pierce. Um, I actually am a full-time professor at SUNY Brockport. Um, my specialty is the adventure stuff. And I have been teaching um, at Roberts as an adjunct, oh gosh, probably for like the past six years or so. Um, but as you all know, you kind of do a rotating schedule. So this class is only offered every few semesters. Um, so I don't think I've been there for a few years, honestly. So I'm excited to get back and meet all of you. Um, my email is on the syllabus, so it's pierce underscore melissa at roberts.edu. So you can go ahead and email me. That's the best way to get in contact with me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. The textbook that I have on here is called The Hundredth Monkey. It is not required. If you want to grab it, um, I was just looking real quick. I can't find it real quick. Um, I was going to show you what it looks like, but I can't find it in my library really quick. But anyways, um, if you want to grab it and have it part of your professional library, awesome. It's a great book. It has tons of activities in it. If not, no worries. We are going to be playing a lot of activities too. So the course description. So this course is an introduction to um, a facilitating group and individual challenges in an adventure setting. This will come um, to include problem solving, spotting skills, trust activities, as well as um, how to enable students to learn trust, cooperation, and healthy risk-taking behaviors. This course is designed primarily for physical education majors, um, and it may, not it may not be used to meet the general education PE skills requirement. Um, I honestly don't really know what that means, but um, Ms. Gregory put that in there, so I don't know. So whatever that means. Um, how you're going to be graded. Participation is big. Okay, so you are required to be there. Our class is on Mondays from 2 to 3.50. For the most part, we'll probably be there the whole time. There might be some days that we might be out a little bit early. Um, but participation is big. You need to be there and you need to be ready to be active. We're going to be playing a lot of games. And of course, like the weather and stuff. So make sure you know your boots aren't wet. Bring some dry sneakers and be ready to sweat. Um, it looks like I think we have like 10 people in this class, so we're actually going to be able to play these activities. Sometimes I only had like three people in this class. It was really hard to play a tag game with three people. <laughs> um, but we are going to do something called geocaching. Some of you may know it, some of you may not. Um, so we're going to do some geocaching, and you have six homework assignments we'll talk about in a little bit. That's worth 30%. Um, you will be making a portfolio for this class at the end of the semester. That's 15%. Um, we're going to learn how to tie some knots. Um, so you're going to have a knots test. That's going to be 10 points. And then you also are going to have a climbing test. So usually pre-COVID, I would, we would find a common time that you guys could come out to Brockport and go on our ropes course. Unfortunately, with COVID, we're not allowed to use the ropes course because of sharing equipment and all that jazz. So um, I have some videos like I'm making now that goes through a lot of instruction. And unfortunately, you guys will just have to watch them. And then you have a test about your climbing skills. So that's worth 16 points. So all together, the course is out of 100 points. Um, under that, you can see how the breakdown of what your grade could be. So like I said, attendance is important, participation is important. Um, I do expect you to be there every single day. I'm a stickler on attendance and participation because this is a lecture course. You can't just go on um, your Moodle and get the PowerPoint, get the lecture that I'm talking about, and teach yourself. Um, if you're not there, you're going to miss a lot. So 
my policy is that you only get one absence. One absence that you don't need to tell me, you should tell me what's going on because that's just professional, but that you don't have to let me know what's going on. Um, I'm just letting you know though, if you miss one day, you're missing a lot. So you better make sure that you talk to someone and get caught up. Um, you, you just don't want to miss one day since we're only meeting once a week. We're going to go through a lot of stuff. Um, after that, after, if you have more absences, that's going to be half of a letter penalty. So you have two absences, you're going to go straight from an A to an A minus. So don't do that to yourself. This should be an easy A because it's fun and you want to be there. So if you're going to keep missing classes, you're going to do really poorly, which will bring your GPA down. And also don't be late. Okay, so my Mondays are jam-packed. I'm going to be here at Brockport at like 8.30 in the morning. I'm going to go all through and I'm going to be there on time. You need to make sure that you're um, at Roberts on time too, please. So two up tardies equals one absence. Um, so geocaching, if you don't know what it is, basically it's an outdoor treasure hunt. You are going to participate in an indoor and outdoor treasure hunt, geocaching event that we're going to do together. And then I'm going to have you guys work in groups and you are going to create your own geocache that you can place out into the community so other people can go and find it. You're going to have to write a little reflection on it. Um, you're going to take a picture of like the geocache that you create, which this will all make sense once we actually do it. And um, you're going to take a screenshot of it like live and active on the app. And um, yeah, and then you're going to write a little reflection. So we'll talk about that more as it comes. We're going to wait till it gets a little bit nicer outside. Your written activity assignments. So those are going to be your homeworks. So basically I break this class down into six different sections. We're going to start um, day two on the 15th with name games. So we're going to play tons of games that just has to focus on getting to know you guys. Now you all might already know each other, but I don't know you. But a lot of times when you start in a group setting, you're not going to know everyone. And maybe in this class, you don't even know everyone. Um, so it's all about just getting to know you. Then we're going to go to icebreaker. So just having fun. Then we're going to go to fair play. So a lot of the games and activities that you probably played growing up and different types of activities that is like easy to cheat. It's easy to get the end result without like going through all the obstacles. We're not going to allow you to skip all those obstacles. We want you to work through it. So the fair play, not cheating. Um, communication activities, problem solving, and trust. So we're going to go through tons of activities. What your homework is, is every single activity that we are going to play, you then have to go home and write a description about it um, on how to play it. And you want to make sure those are descriptive because who knows when you're going to go student teaching. Is it next semester? Is it next year? Is it in two years, three years? Wherever it is, then you're going to be applying for jobs, okay? So two, three, four years down the road, you're going to come back to your portfolio, your binder, and you're like, oh, how do I play that game? Well, if you gave a really, really like horrible description, you're going to have no idea on how to play that game. So the more detail that you can like replay it in your head, go through all the rules, go through all directions, really good detailed paragraphs or bullet points, you're going to be able to teach that to somebody else. Or you should be able to give this binder to a younger brother, sister, cousin, roommate, parents, and say, here, Go teach that activity with my notes, and it should be able to be played the same way that I just taught it. So those are important, um, and we'll talk about those in a couple more minutes. But So you're going to have six of those. The due dates are on the syllabus. We'll talk about it more. Um, and they're only five points each, but five times six is 30, okay? 30 points. If you don't do your homework, you're starting this class at a 70. Don't do it. <laughs> These, it's a little time-consuming, but it's easy. Okay, and you will be thankful out of all of my past students that always come back. They always say, thank God you made us do that because I use this portfolio more than anything I've ever used um, in any of my schooling. So please do a good job on those. Um, so the portfolio, you can see on the next page, is going to be a three ring binder. You're going to have a cover page. I want you to put your photo of your geocache on there. You're going to have the six tabs of the different sections we're going through. Then you're going to print out all the activities that you did for homework. So your portfolio, once your homeworks are done, it's pretty much done. You just got to print it off and put it in a binder so you have a hard copy form. I like hard copy forms because I like to physically have something in my hand. If you rather have electronic, well, great, you have both. Okay. Um, and then the not test, which you will take later on, will be in there too. 
at Roberts, we're not going to really wor have to worry about the weather. If it is super nice out, I don't know if we have access to any of the fields or the track or anything. If we can go outside, awesome, we'll go outside. But if it's going to be a crappy day like it is right now, we're just going to obviously be at the gym. 